Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I'm not only 25 and this is the Wild West mod. All sorts of stuff going on in my inventory here. Lots and lots of clay is what we've got. And it is day 28, which means it's Horde Night. There's a few things I'd like to achieve today. So if I check here, have we got... Yeah, we've got some cobble blocks. Let's go place some of these down. Honestly, I don't know if we've got enough. But I'll tell you what we have got. An absolute ton of resources to make more cobble. So that's fine. Oh, hello, biker. What are you doing up there? Well, let's get these placed. Okay, that's a lot of upgrading left to do. I just put stairs over there because that's a slightly higher elevation. I think it looks okay. I guess let's uh, get upgrading what we can. Might as well. Hundred and eighteen thousand XP, and we have a nice concrete floor, and we leveled. With that level, I wanted to go into brains mechanic three. That should now unlock the steam horse. Now, I want to check that thing out. Let's see how we go about crafting one of them. Okay, we need a hundred boiled water. Oh, that might be the choke point. Oh, not that much of a choke point, no. We need another fifty-two boiled water. Make it all. Seven minutes for that. Right, this is everything we need bar the boiled water, I believe, to make the steam horse. We're just waiting a boiled water to be dim. Let's check these in there. There's a hundred we need, I think, isn't it? That's another thing I wanted to look at, actually. Traps. So there's such thing as a tar trap and a cactus trap. All right. Let's make a couple of these. The forged iron we need back. Oil shell and tree resin. We don't have any oil shell. I used it all. I say that we've got a quest to go and pick up. That's cooking away. Does the other one cactus drop? I doubt we've got 20 yucca. No, we haven't. Okay. Um, well, the only one that's realistic is the tar trap, and we are short the oil shell for that. So I'm going to sell a bunch of junk to this trader. But while I've got a mind to do it, I think that's right. Better be. Yeah, perfect. There we go, nice vault door as well, for whatever reason. I'm looking at this clock and I'm thinking we can get the steam car crafting while we're on our way. We don't need much oil shale either, so that's good. Do I have misplaced it anywhere? Guess not, I must have just used a lot of it. Got tons of kerosene here, so that's good. But there's a hundred water. So give me this stuff back. Steam horse. Four minutes, okay, we'll come back for that in a second then. Let's go get a reward for that other job. We'll uh, take the horse, Mike, for one last spin. We'll get that reward, the XP and stuff. And we'll see what's what. All right, uh, we'll go and get rewarded first. Oh, look at that. Uh, I'll take the Liberty Coins, why the hell not? Nothing else there I want. Have you got anything useful for me here? Bottle bombs. Awesome sauce is good. Let's sell, sell, sell. Right, let's you see. Awesome sauce. Ooh. Safe travel. It's a contract I've never seen before. Barter and trade gold. Oh, we've got a crazy amount of money right now. Like 170 grand. Bring back the required barter. Gather 30 gold nuggets. I've just sold all my gold nuggets, I think. <laughs> yeah. You all right, okay. And then you get rewarded for that, I see. A worthwhile little detour, though, I think. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to mess with the traps tonight because uh i've had my head turned by the opportunity to perhaps craft something else quite cool and i need my tree resin for it right yo here we are all right there it is steam horse that's pretty cool right give me my kerosene yes headlights fuel saver let's check this thing out oh wow that's cool 
Got to put all the kerosene in there. Storage is huge. Couple of fuel savers in there. Wow, look at this. That's so cool. I'll be honest, it's not the quickest thing in the world. I think the horse it may be on a par with it, but just the way it looks is pretty awesome. More of these. More of them. Look at this thing. Got a little skull on the front. Look at the detail. Oh, and look at the uh, brightness. Is there such a thing as a turbo mod in this? No. I think they're the only three vehicle mods right there. I'm going to see how viable it is to get some tree resin. Hmm. I don't know how we get that. I haven't been paying attention. Tree. Resin. No, I have no idea how I've been collecting that. Clearly not from trees, apparently. No, I think it's like, um, basically polymer. I think it replaces polymer for a lot of the crafting recipes. I've only got 46. Didn't tell you where you can gain it. But it turns out I kind of need it. Unless it's um, a bit like Undead Legacy, where to get different things you have to use different tools. Nope, certainly not that. Worth a try though. Yeah, I think it's just lootable and you get it out of just random crates. Maybe this POI will have some resin. I think we have been in there before. Well, let's run in here quickly. I remember this POI now. Yeah, none of these are particularly resiny things, are they? Oh well. Let's pick you up, baby. Let's make sure we've got what we need to take on the horde. I think we're about as ready as we're getting. Oh yeah, somebody had a pretty cool idea that we could maybe look to implement out here. They were saying when zombies kind of fall down and rage out and so on, that you can uh, place decoy pillars down for them to rage out and hit. So if we can get that in such a way or we can maybe see them like just there and that little spot would be perfect yeah we can see all them good enough and we can get these all the way up i guess we're gonna see a lot of guys falling down here yeah we're out of steel thought that might happen thinking if cops fall that would have been a good place to steal up we might have a bit more steel uh we might even have more over here thinking about it uh, no, not that one. In here. Ah, I took it out. Looking pretty cool over here at this little compound, isn't it? Yeah, we've got plenty of steel here. We can do what we need to get done. This is nice and steeled up, ready for the cop explosions. Yeah, we've got like basically no steel left, that's fine. Just need another one of them down. Pretty excited to try this out. I do want to actually, before I forget, if I'm running for my life, I need to be able to move quickly. And uh, Blake in the comments roasted me for how I pronounce this stuff. Saras Perilla? I don't know. I probably still said it massively wrong. I'm having that on my hotbar. Ready to consume should we need to run for our lives. This is a nice solid base though. And it's protected for vultures. I'm hoping we can spend a whole night here. Just run back for these. I mean, one's probably more than enough. That's a bit of a waking nightmare, having all them on. So we'll have those two on. Then we've got these to place down if they get damaged. How about that? Right, bring on the horde. I'm excited to see how this performs. But here they come. I wonder if I can thread the needle right there. Oh, nice. And oh, they're coming from over there as well. And fall down. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, they just fall right off the edge. Look at that. Like I said, this is um, a design inspired by Jean's Gaming. Credit to him for the basic kind of idea. 
I don't know if I've done it right. Seems to be working pretty well, though. I can even see these guys down here. Right, I've just taken the fog off. Because I couldn't really see and I want to be able to showcase this. This looks a bit strange about the fog, but hey. At least we can actually see the base working now. It's nice if you're right up against this. You can throw the Molotovs no problem. Well, I've seen a lot of people doing no crafting challenges at the moment. It's a bit of a trend on YouTube, so... I mean, this... If you can get the block somehow, I suppose you, in a no crafting challenge, you can loot and buy cobblestone and loot um, the frame shapes and stuff. So feasibly, you could build something. This is a pretty good go-to design if you're not able to craft traps, isn't it? I don't know how long it would be viable for, but it seems to work pretty damn well. Oh, the shotgun's so nice. Such good value out of these Molotovs as well. Just boom. Hear it right there and it just seems to catch so many of them alight. And those ones right over there. Wow. Keep an eye on that XP now. That should go flying up. Yeah, 10,000. Nice. Only thing I don't like is I can hear so many of them. Yeah, beating on stuff. Well, what can I say? Other than this is working rather bloody well. Hey, look, he's taking the bait in that uh, decoy pillar. I wish I could remember who uh, told me about that. That's a great idea. Yeah, it doesn't kill the zombies quick, this base. That's the only thing. I'm not killing them as quickly as I would be in the hatch corridor, but... It controls the Horde Knight beautifully, it's got to be said. It's a really good idea, having these things here, them falling off on this type of block. Now, if you want a loop in Horde base that isn't too cheesy, because the pieces actually connect and stuff, I think this is the one. Because there's one thing I don't like, it's like floating pieces. And I know that's not technically touching there, but everything touches something at some point. So I can live with it. It's when you get these floating bases and stuff. I mean, I'm nothing against people that use them, but I just... I don't know, there's something about that that's just too immersion breaking for me. This is something that I could imagine happening in an apocalypse. You could set something like this up. It's within the laws of physics, I guess is what I'm saying. Hey, losers. Not a single one's made it over, have you noticed? Not one singular Zomberino. If the furthest they make it is this point and they fall off. But they usually fall off before them. Oh, he's gone. Luckily the base is all nice and steeled up. It shouldn't be a problem. Right, just got to concentrate on that cop now. I think I got him. Cop just went again. Just because I shot him off the edge by accident. A real pain, to be honest, cops. So much fire. There's one cop down. Hey, I should have interrupted that. J 
Just like vanilla, the main issue is cops. He's gonna go. I think I got him just in time. He's about to go down there and there's nothing I can do about it. So yeah, in this game, if you're struggling with the kind of slight lack of traps. Ah, flew right in my face. That's it, you take the bait up there, you idiot. Yeah, this um, horde based by Jean's game, and I'll try and uh, remember to throw his logo on the screen now. This really works. Hey, look who made it over. You clever thing. Well, get him, get him. Damn it. I think the fire got him. I'll right, get a bit more of this. Ah, stupid vulture. It abrazed me. Uh, we've got more of them, right? Yeah. We've got 25 of these left as well for the last hour. We can make it rain fire if we want. Another vulture hits the spikes. Classic. Those vultures cause me so much pain in POIs and quests and stuff. That every time one flies into a spike, I can't help but feel a bit happy inside. Right, coming up for 4am, they're still pouring in. That's the only drawback of this base, is you can't kill them as quick as you would normally. So let's get them cooking. Hopefully not calling a screamer. Get this repaired. Let's get more fire going. Who's out here still? Uh. Oh wow, they took out a block right there. And also, they did a pretty good number on these blocks here. Um, all right, let's grab our loot, see what we got. Out of room right here. Uh, we could put down the old steam horse, couldn't we? Use that big, big storage. Oh, look, they beat on this a little bit. The swines. All right, I don't think there's any more loot, so I'll show you what we got. If you're at all interested in what we looted, pause the video, take yourself a good hard look. Nothing too crazy, it's got to be said. Oh yeah, but we did get that one book, let's read that. Harvest coffins for precious gems. Alright, we have... Three skill points. Max out mechanic. So, I've unlocked the balloon. Now, full disclosure, this is the last episode. I feel like I've kind of reached a point, it's a nice 
kind of space to end it. We've just maxed out mechanic. We've just taken on the horde at a nice horde base. We've completed tier five quests. Um, you know, we've done a lot and I've really, really, really enjoyed this. If you haven't played this and you're waiting for Alpha 21 and, you know, you're thinking about, oh, should I give this mod a try? I highly recommend it. They've done a great job of it. Really, really fun. Head over to Tallman Brad Gameplay. Um, I'll put his logo on the screen now. Just shout yourself out in the comments there. Uh, Brad and people will know where to go to find you. He's one of the developers, along with like Aramis and Medusa. All those guys were so good. And they've been really supportive throughout the series as well. So thank you very much, guys. And thanks for the amazing mod and the hard work you put into it. Now, because it's the last episode and I've just maxed out Mechanic, which means I can craft hot air balloons. Now, I was short about four resin. So I've just given myself like 10. Um, I was short about a thousand or so cloth. So give myself a bit more cloth. I don't think I have the kerosene, so I've just give myself some of that as well. This isn't part of the playthrough. This is just me. This is just me wanting to try the hot air balloon and fly off into the sunset before, you know, I turn this off. So let's at least click craft. It's going to take eight minutes, but I'm going to just grab one out of the creative menu and have a look at this thing. Oh, wow. Look at this thing. It's crazy. I uh, guess it takes a lot of gas to fill up, eh? Oh, no, not much. Storage. Pretty big. Look at this. That's so cool. Oh, and it just goes straight up. Look at that. You can zoom in and out as well. This is really nice to fly, by the way. Very nicely done. As we look around the new Frontier map for one last time, down on our little horde base compound down there, and the blacksmith's where we just moved into the apartment above it on day one and stayed there for the duration. Um, Yeah, thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. I've really enjoyed it, and I hope you did as well. Subscribe if you're new here and you like what you see. Special thanks to all the members at Team25 who support the channel via memberships and via Patreon. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Have a good one. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.